Yeah, yeah man, we get to beat Hanson. They haven't heard our record, though, the young punks. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it's really cool. All kinds of celebrities standing all over the place, you know. It's hey, Bill Walitska! What was that moment like? You met Hanson, man. Yeah, man, we, we were old friends with Hanson. We hung with them at the oh, Horde yeah. Festival in Virginia oh, Beach. Are, okay, now, has MTV always been there for the Bare Naked Ladies? Absolutely. They've been supporting us since the beginning. They were big on Gordon. Yeah, remember we used to do that, we did like a, an intimate interactive with them yeah, back in 92. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, yeah. But they, but they did latch on to one week. Yeah, they have. They're, they're playing the hell out of one week, and that's, they're welcome to the party now. How much of it? Welcome back. You're watching this week's edition of Facts. I'm Rebecca Rankin. Good news for Bare Naked Ladies fans, and there are lots of them these days. 90210 star, ex-star Jason Priestley, is currently touring with the band. He is putting together a documentary called Bare Naked in America. TDM caught up with the crew in Connecticut. with me today, my Jason Priestley doll. Oh, oh wow. look at that. She's sweet. Brandon. It's not bad. He's your director of this film. Yeah, he's making a movie about us. Yeah, he's directing. He says, uh, yeah, cut, <laughs> slate, you know, stuff like that. This man directs. I'm real tired tonight. Then. You're in. It's been a long day, man. I didn't sleep well. Man. I didn't either. Too many chicken wings. A couple chicken wings before shutting her down, and then it was a bad road. You know, originally it was going to be a movie about, about, a, about a Canadian band who's working very hard to break in America. Well, all of a sudden, they, they're, they, they're number one in America. So it's, you know, I, I think that the project sort of has to, has, reflect to, has to reflect what's going on with the band. Glad I'm here to document it, really, because it's like, you know, it's it's gone from sort of being, from, from sort of being uh, this 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 very kind of small, um, you know, movie about the about these guys working hard and being on the road, and it's turned into Hard Day's Night all of a sudden. Oh, it's, it's really <laughs> your timing is impeccable. Yeah, it was. I, I really got lucky. I you know I was, I was really like really fortunate with that. It's I think this film is not about capturing music like a, a music director would. This film's about touring, yeah. you know, and, and experiencing what being on the road's like. We shot a show, and I think it's going to look great. Um, and I think all the music we'll get on tape will, will be great. But I think this, the movie's about everything. It's about the whole experience. It's all 